faith community has to make the basic difference uh, in what we are struggling with across this country, which is an epidemic of gun violence. Um, we are seeing 30,000 people a year plus killed uh, in the United States. And one of the great realities of that is that each one of these individuals are connected deeply to communities, to families, uh, to many of our uh, worship centers. And uh, there is a need for the church to become involved because all of our holy books uh, speak to the legitimacy of the authority, uh, the creator, the God the, uh, that we serve being uh, a God of love. And as we speak of love, uh, gun violence is antithetical to that whole ethos uh, of our holy books. And the source around violence usually has to do with hatred, anger, vice, and, and isolation. As a faith community, those are, th those are issues that we can speak to directly mm. uh, by being inclusive in our communities, by reaching out to people, by looking around and seeing who, who's not there, who seems to be alone, who is isolated within our immediate surrounding environment. Um, and particularly, I think we have a charge as faith leaders to work together to um, build conversation across the uh, churches and synagogues and mosques and all houses of worship and places of gathering, including coffee shops and yoga studios and you know, wherever it is that people go, uh, so that we can, can t connect and to touch one another. That the less isolated we allow any individual to be, the, the lower our, our incidences of violence of any kind are going to be. You know, how can you hate, how can you hate someone once you know them, once you share their story, once you share that cup of coffee together uh, and shared that time together? It, it, it really is a, a critical shift that we can uh, make. And uh, This will probably be one of the greatest works that we could do in this part of the 20th century, 21st century uh, with an understanding of saving lives and yet addressing so many of the various problems that stem from gun violence. So, the community, um, uh, communities being torn apart, the issues of uh, disabilities and mental illness, uh, the issues of what it means to not have common gun laws in place, and yet the uh, deep brokenness in our communities that creates uh, the environment where we turn on each other rather than to each other. And I am convinced that in this day and age, what Michael Brown's death represents is another opportunity for us to rally around the need to take seriously the continued racism that is in every sector of our society uh, and to begin to build upon a new hope and a new possibility uh, ultimately for a new future.